So that's still a story for us this morning. If you're getting ready in Claryville and Kingston Liberty, temperatures in the 20s and 30s. New Paul's at 32 with Peekskill also at freezing. Danbury 37, Sussex now at 33. We're sitting at 49 at Central Park in the 40s from Merrick and Belmar. So jackets first and then maybe think layers because by later on this afternoon it will be warm. Of course, we are still, of course, focused on where Nicole will head next. It is now inland as a tropical storm. Still expecting that to move in. You'll see the clouds by late tonight. So between now and then again, really pleasant 61 by noontime, 60 degrees at five o'clock after temperatures this afternoon in the mid 60s and then clouds increasing, staying dry overnight, though 10 o'clock temperature at 59. All right, so things are quiet weather wise. Adele, I know it's been busy already for you this morning and right on time. Uh, yes, we see this every single morning, but somehow every morning <laughs> is the tree. Is the New York City going to welcome <laughs> this tree with some nice weather? Um, Ish uh, warm feelings. OK, uh, we are, yeah. are you joining us from your your uh, fireside <laughs> chat That's library? Right. 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 Oh, no, this way. Right. <laughs> I'm, new, I'm new to this green screen. Here you go. Oh, very nice. Yes, <laughs> we are counting down, of course, uh, to when the tree arrives. Countdown to Christmas is 45 days, believe it or not. Uh, but we are right now feeling that sort of festive chill. Of course, David's out there with the temperatures in the upper 20s right now in Queensbury. All eyes, though, not just for the ride of the tree, but everybody over the next couple days regarding a Nicole. Now a tropical storm. You can see the center now on shore made landfall as a hurricane will continue across Florida, make a turn and make perhaps another landfall in the big bend of Florida later today and then quickly accelerate into our area. As I mentioned, it is now a tropical storm, a strong one, 70 mile per hour maximum winds moving to the west northwest at 14. It does get picked up by this next front, which, by the way, is producing near blizzard conditions in parts of the plains right now. And this is all going to be funneled into our area. So let's break down the timing because it is key. The good news is the morning commute shouldn't be any issues at all. Just cloudy, really muggy and mild, but very quickly picks up with that rainfall by midday into the lunch hour. Gusty winds along with it. You see a lot of red and orange, so heavy, heavy rainfall showers, not just the only uh, not the only thing on the plate tomorrow, but perhaps thunder, lightning and even the possibility of some tornadoes because of the spin in the atmosphere as the remnants of Nicole move to our north and west. It continues overnight Saturday with waves of heavy rainfall into early Early Saturday by midday, this all exits and we're done with the rain as much as one to two inches across the region, but especially north and west where the main part of the track is, we could see as much as two to three. So flash flooding and uh, obviously poor travel conditions, a thing for tomorrow afternoon through Saturday morning. But right now it's nice and quiet. The plaza waiting for the tree. It's chilly, 49 degrees at Central Park. Plan on today, beautiful. Lots of sunshine, mild 60 degrees by 5 p.m. And then the clouds start to move in.